is coming, and it felt a little bit like it today, didn't it? If you would have told me that yesterday, I wouldn't have believed you, but today I believe you. Never going to get here. <laughs> yeah, look at this. There is snow still on the ground in Ennis from yesterday. Blue skies across the area today and melting away some of that snow. But yeah, big change over the last 24 hours. We are counting down to spring. Yeah, it's going to feel like spring this week. We are 35 days away, but our temperatures and our trees are saying otherwise. The tree pollen counts are back up there like they were this time last year, only a little bit sooner. So we've had high tree pollen counts tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, mainly the elm, but also cedar, juniper and maples. So if you have noticed a little twitch in the nose, you've been sneezing, that may be it. Temperatures are on their way up. Low 60s Tuesday, mid 60s Wednesday, and we will be close to 70 degrees by Thursday. And then we'll get back more in line with reality and reality for for Valentine's Day is a high of 53 on average and a morning temperature of 33. So tomorrow we'll be in the low 60s. That'll be warmer. The warmest Valentine's Day was 76 and that was in 1951. And of course it can be really cold, just like we were talking about this month this is a transitional one. Six degrees from 1905 and yeah, we actually had six inches of snow in 1913. Our Valentine's Day forecast though is very quiet. It'll be a little chilly in the morning at 35, some sunshine to start, clouds increasing, high temperatures will likely get into the low 60s. But if you're going out for lunch or for dinner, you've got temperatures averaging in the mid to upper 50s. Not going to be too windy. It will be a little cloudier later in the day. The highs this afternoon were in the low 60s, so we'll be comparable to that tomorrow. You have 58 in Mount Airy, 64 in Ashburn. Of course, those temps coming down now. Right now we're in the mid 50s in Wilkes County, Martinsville, and you can look at the warmth out to the west. We've got high pressure kind of sprawled across the eastern half of the nation, so it's keeping things pretty quiet. Notice all the wind advisories out here, though, too. We do have some wind that's going to work its way back into the forecast, but likely not until that Thursday, Friday time frame. Had a few passing clouds earlier today, not rain making clouds. We will stay dry this evening into tomorrow morning where we'll wake up with temperatures just a little bit above freezing. Lunchtime tomorrow, sunny with clouds starting to inch in here and by afternoon it does become mostly cloudy. But it's mild. High temp about 62 tomorrow afternoon. Breeze out of the south 5 to 10 miles an hour, 35 to start. Just above freezing in the foothills and then quickly climbing. We've got 61 tomorrow afternoon. It's nice even though it may be a little bit gray. Mountain forecast has us at 55 tomorrow afternoon. Rain chances during the day on Thursday are late. Thursday night into Friday is when we do think we've got a front coming in here and it is way out here right now. So we'll be tracking that as it moves across the nation. Dry early Thursday, but by Thursday night into Friday, looks like a front will sweep through here and definitely cool us off in time for the weekend. So we will have temperatures once again down below freezing by by Saturday morning, we've got 28, and then Saturday afternoon, a high of 51. A little bit of a roller coaster ride again this week.